The sun is out today, so I want to do another little test on the PWM 85. And this test is all about this Schottky diode here on the solar input, which prevents uh, the battery feeding into the solar panel at night and also protects the MOSFET from a short on the solar connectors. So in my PCB design there is this area of tinned copper here with a load of wires which actually looking at this blank one you can see perhaps a little bit better this area here actually goes all the way through to the back of the PCB and uh, that hopefully is going to act as a heatsink. But I've now got the PWM85 attached to a 100 watt panel. All the negatives are common together, so the fact that this connector for the panel is over here at the load connectors actually makes no difference. But the solar positive is here, negative, and the battery positive and negative in the middle. And uh, we can see from the LED that my uh, panel, which is a 100 watt monocrystalline panel, is keeping this battery underneath here uh, happily at 13.5 volts and there we can see the led is permanently on so yeah it's sat at 13.5 volts but in the background here i have some loads that i wish to uh, connect to this battery to drag down the voltage and uh, well start feeding some current through the system and most importantly through that diode so let's start this little experiment by adding this 20 watt 12 volt lamp. So that will add 20 watts to the load here. Uh, but the panel is in full sun and it's able to keep the battery at 13.5 volts. It is dropping perhaps a little bit as the, uh, the algorithm changes that PWM cycle. Uh, but yes, let's uh, now add a further 20 watts making... 40 watts in total and the algorithm is changing a little bit and it's struggling a little bit more to keep the voltage up uh, this is a 21 watt uh, brake lamp for a car we'll add that so we've now got about 60 65 watts perhaps and uh, the last one i've got is here this uh, led lamp which will add another few watts five or so so We've now got probably getting on for 80 watts being drawn from this battery and the LED has switched off because it's having to change the algorithm, the, sorry, the PWM cycle on the MOSFET to be able to uh, keep this battery as well charged as possible while all those loads are connected to it at the same time. But the question, of course, is how warm is that diode getting? And uh, I'd say warm, but I can hold my finger on it for a little while. And uh, crucially, I want to check the back of the PCB as well. That is quite warm. But yeah, it's definitely working. The heat is definitely transferring through to the back of the PCB. So... Uh, Let's leave this for a while and then we'll see how well this fares. Wall to wall Easter sun, looking good. So this has been running for a little while now. We've got 12.7 volts on that battery, obviously being kept up by the 100 watt solar panel connected to it through the PWM85 and crucially through that diode. Um, but I thought it might be interesting to have a look at the... Uh, current that's being uh, taken out of the battery let's just zero that hold it as close as possible so yeah about 5.5 amps is being drawn from that battery with all those incandescent lamps that i've put on and uh, how much is coming in from the solar panel so i'll just re-zero and put it around that wire and about 4.5 4.5 yeah, 4.5 amps of that current going out to my loads is being provided by the solar panel. So what have we got? Uh, that's disconnected. So let me just disconnect that probe again. 4.5 amps at 12.7 volts. Well, I make that about 60 watts coming in from the panel. Um, and another, there must be 75. 475 watts 
going out to my loads which are under here so yeah the battery voltage is dropping the solar panel is not able to provide enough current at the moment but yeah i'm running that diode at about 60 or 65 watts and this is a diode in question the pds 1040 l which as you can see is a 10 amp uh, low forward voltage shocky diode um, but the forward voltage is noted here as about 0.4 volts at 6 amps but actually that decreases with heat interestingly and with that forward voltage drop of about 0.4 volts well at 4.5 amps that's 1.8 watts that that little package is having to dissipate so as i sit here and watch the battery voltage and the solar current the question is of course is why does my 100 watt panel not create 100 watts well that's because it's designed with a maximum power point in mind and that maximum power point is at about 17 and a half or 18 volts and this pwm solar charge controller is connecting the solar panel pretty much directly to the battery and the battery is going to win so at 12.6 volts my solar panel cannot create 100 watts so it's creating what 60 65 watts or thereabouts under this current sun so i've been watching this for a while now and i'm pretty pleased with the results that diode is not getting really any hotter than it was within a couple of minutes of its first test and the heat at the back uh, the heat sink i should say at the back seems to be doing a pretty good job i guess i could beef that up with actually a stick on heat sink but uh, i'm not sure that's going to be necessary at the moment so with 4.7 amps coming through at 12.68 volts 65 watts or so I'm fairly confident that this can be attached to a 100 watt panel without too much difficulty. So I'm now going to start unplugging the loads and we'll see what happens to the voltage and to the current. So there's 20 watts removed and we can see we're still getting 4.7 amps. The voltage is increasing now so with about 50 watts of load the uh, solar panel is able to uh, produce more power than is being used in the battery so that voltage is going up when it gets to about 13 and a half volts we should see the led start to come on if i remove another 20 there and there we go we're at 13.47 volts or thereabouts the led has illuminated and uh, the PWM85 is preventing any overcharge of the battery. So we've only got 3.2, 3.3 amps coming in at the moment to regulate 13.5 volts. So let's just remove the last 20 watt lamp. The voltage didn't peak, did it? I don't think so. And the current has reduced to 1.4, 1.3 amps. And if I remove the last five watt load here well hopefully the current should reduce to almost nothing and the battery voltage is staying at 13 and a half volts so i've been able to test two things i've removed a load of loads a lot of loads i should say and uh, yeah the voltage of the battery has been very stable and i've also been able to test that shocky diode excellent and i think that's a reasonable result hopefully you've enjoyed this video if you have give me a thumbs up subscribe down below comment if you can and i will see you next time thanks for watching